Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply Vivid's new BioPulse uh, headlight tint um, to this headlight which is a 2007 Subaru Impreza uh, STI. Um, it's got a bulbous kind of a shape here so it's uh, a little bit more challenging than your standard flat headlight uh, but not too hard to apply. Again this is a brand new film headlight tint from uh, Vivid. This is their holographic hex uh, tint, but it's their biopulse. So they have two kinds. The biopulse is the one where you see it as I move the light around, or I move it around, it pulses around and kind of like in lines and, and such. The regular holographic hex tint, um, the basically it creates just a, a, a great shine or a giant rainbow shine on that versus this kind of um, moving effect of that. So anyway, so uh, in preparing to install this, I have uh, cleaned off the headlight um, uh, with a little bit of uh, cleaner and then just wiped it down with alcohol and I put the alcohol in the rag instead of spraying directly on the plastic and I used um, a diluted alcohol in there. Uh, it's been my experience that using strong alcohol directly on tail light and headlight plastics uh, seems to make it um, increase the vulnerability or its proneness to crack. Um, anyway, but I do use a little bit of alcohol to remove any residues and oils and such. The next step would be to cut a piece big enough to fit the cover the entire headlight, giving yourself a little bit of extra across the top and bottom and on each side as well. And that's so you have areas to hold on to the, uh, onto the tent. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. So as you see already, um, I've got my piece cut out big enough to do this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and peel. I'm gonna start from this side. Um, you can't necessarily see it in the, in the uh, camera, but although this part looks more flat, there's actually a big bulb right here and there's actually a, a dent right in the middle here. And this is a little bit rounded. So this, believe it or not, is actually um, what I have found the flattest spot so far. So, Peel the backing paper from the uh, uh, from the vinyl. And then, as I said, peel the backing paper from the vinyl versus the vinyl from the backing paper. And then, what you want to do is you want to tack this down. Now, uh, one thing I need to mention, or I wanted, I forgot to mention, was in preparation for this, you probably want to uh, put masking tape around your headlights um, before doing this, so that. Uh, it doesn't stick as hard to it. This is a very sticky film, and so uh, if you if it gets on the body of your car, it sticks really hard. Now I don't have any because I just recently put a hybrid ceramic coat on my car, so this does not stick <laughs> at all to my car. So I'm okay with it right now. So I'm basically gonna lay it onto this flat part here, tack it down really well, and I'm gonna start to just kind of since I have extra here kind of pull this way and this way. And notice I have this here because you don't want your fingers underneath touching the part that's gonna be on the clear part of the headlight. Uh, your fingerprints will show up. So I have extras on the side. I'm gonna pull and stretch and pull up and down. You can see in triangular motion because I'm starting to get around a curve there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack it down kind of in the center point. See this bubble right here? That's because there's a, there's a dent, right? Or a, a curvature right in that area right there. So I'm just laying this down like this and I'm just basically glassing out up and down and left and right. Okay. Now I'm going to release some more of the film and I'm at a point where now what I'm going to do is peel it back just a little bit and heat gently the film. You don't want to heat it too much and stretch too much because of the hex pattern in here. If you do that you'll distort the hex, the hex pattern in this. So I'm just going to use heat gun on low just to warm the film up so I know it's a little bit softer, and then I'm going to release a bit more, grab it, and then kind of just gently, I'm giving a little bit of tension, a little bit of stretch, but not something too crazy that it will distort the hex tint pattern too much. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack on the high point, there's a big bulbous area right here, and it dips down in here, so I'm just tacking that down onto what ends up being a relatively flat area. I got these horizontal wrinkles here, that's fine. I'm going to lift it up and I'm pulling, lifting it up and pulling but I'm trying to keep my fingers in an area where it won't be on the surface 
And as I'm pulling up, you can see those horizontal wrinkles disappearing. And what I'm doing is I'm working the vinyl now down into the, that recessed area there. I'm gonna get my squeegee uh, to help me out here a little bit. I got a soft squeegee so I can conform to the shape of this headlight a little bit better. And I'm gonna work that into this recess here. Okay, now I'm just gonna work my way up towards the top. Take care of this top part here. There's the bump here. The recess kind of forms up around it. So I'm just getting this vinyl up and over that. I'm gonna give it just a touch of heat to soften it up a little bit. So I can just mold this vinyl over the top without very much stress at all on the vinyl. Okay, getting it to the edge, getting that to the edge up there. Got the top part done. Now I'm gonna work with the bottom half here. So a little bit, kind of the same thing here. I'm gonna give it just, heat this up a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit of heat here. Soften it up. And then I'm going to kind of give it just a little bit of tension down and away. And then I'm gonna swoop my squeegee down and away. Bring that up and sweep that up there. Okay. Now I'm into a recess down here, so I'm going to give it just a touch of heat again. I'm going to lift it up a little bit more. Give it a touch of heat. And then work that down around this uh, recessed area. I'm going to go ahead and pull off the rest of this vinyl, or the backing paper, excuse me. And then proceed to finish this off. I just have this lower area here. So what I'm going to do is lift it up just a little bit, give it a touch of heat. And this, I'm going to heat this broad area here so that the stretch is even. And I'm going to bring the stretch this way versus straight down. So I'm going to go kind of this way and this way, triangular shape. Okay. Tack that there. Start working that. Now here, I got those horizontal, those wrinkles pointing that way. So I'm going to pull it this way. And you can see it's straightening or blasting this out. And while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is lay the vinyl down towards the base of the headlight there. Same thing here, using my squeegee, soft squeegee to conform to this bulbous shape here. Um, you can also use your, your hand if you want to, since that will conform a little bit better than the squeegee would. Give this a touch more heat here. And every time I give it heat like that, it's actually relaxing the vinyl a little bit as well, so it's shrinking it back, so I know that when I do get to the edges, I'm going to have minimal tension on the edges as well, so that it will eliminate or virtually eliminate uh, any pullback. Okay, so now that I'm at the edge down there, I'm going to lay the rest of this here. So for all intents and purposes, this headlight has been fully wrapped. It just hasn't been trimmed out and, uh, and some of the fine details um, that needs to be done as far as Make sure it's set up for longevity and durability here. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to, on the edges, since I talked about it a second ago, I'm going to lift this up. And then I'm going to actually lift it up off the edge and I'm going to heat it a little bit so that if there is any tension left in it or any pullback in it, it will be relaxed out. And then once it's relaxed out, I'll just lay, simply lay the vinyl down to the edge and there will be no tension on the edge of the vinyl and therefore should be no pullback. Um, Vivid has made some improvements in their headlight tint technology, their dry application stuff. And um, as I know some of the earlier stuff, if you weren't careful and didn't heat, you know, reduce, uh, shrink out the tension, uh, it, would, it would pull back fairly easily, uh, almost as soon as you got your car out to the sun. Uh, but they've, they've done a lot better in fixing that now. Um, improving the technology just as anything. Uh, I've noticed 
notice a, a difference in their first generation of their dry application tint um, before the hex series stuff came out. Um, that it uh, has kind of a different feel and work feel and workability to it. Uh, okay. Just gonna get my knife. I'm gonna make a relief cut right here where it's kind of gonna bend and, and kind of binding up a little bit here. So I'm gonna relief cut that. here now, relaxing out the vinyl, and could I have just gone ahead and, you know, got it to the edge and cut, sure, because I did use some of that tension earlier, but what I'm doing is I am making sure that I do this for, do this with uh, longevity and durability in mind here, so I'm just, again, bringing it up from the edges, heating it out to relax it. Let it cool just for a couple seconds. Once it's cooled down a little bit, but it's still a little bit warm, so it's soft. Just gently working it up to the edges here. Make sure your blade is super sharp. This is a brand new blade that I just put in for starting, so I know it's super duper sharp or as sharp as it can be. And then I'm just going to cut. Now there's a the edge of the light is what I'm going to use as my guide. I'm just going to use the tip and put it against that edge of the headlight. Side of my blade against the top edge of the headlight. That's my guide, my guideline for cutting. And I'm just carefully using my headlight as my guide. Right here. I think some of the ceramic coat that I had put onto my car got on my headlight on this area here, it's not sticking. So that's why you see that area bubbling up. So Yes, if you are thinking about just vinyl wrapping headlights or, or, or your car, but you have ceramic coat on it, um, vinyl wrap will not stick to that, uh, to the ceramic coating. You'll have to get that removed before you vinyl wrap your car. So again, just continuing on, just using the side of my blade against the edge of the headlight housing as my guide. And I'm, as I cut, I'm pulling up to give it just a little bit of tension to keep the, the vinyl taut, which helps create and keep a uh, clean cut. So just following that down. headlight and then the tip of the blade is just floating in empty air empty space so I'm not cutting anything on my car so I'm not going to continue back where I first started here we'll go back to where I first started and not continue back okay just trim it a little bit more here following the curvature of the headlight using just the tip of the blade so that I am not cutting or touching my paint because I this is my baby, definitely don't want to cut or scratch it. So 
and just following all the way along. Make sure all my edges are sealed down. Again, I think I think I think I got some ceramic coat on on my headlight, so on the edges here, it uh, doesn't seem to want to be laying down. So I'm gonna trim it back a little bit more if I can. down nicely. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's um, a fully wrapped headlight using Vivid's new um, hex tint, light smoke hex tint, holographic uh, biopulse. Hopefully you found this video to be uh, inf informative and instructive. And um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.